Hey, do you want to achieve clear, youthful skin? I mean, who doesn't, right? If so, tartaric acid may be something worth investigating. In today's video, we will discuss what tartaric acid is, what it does for your skin, and how you can incorporate it into your skincare routine. We will also look at the benefits of using tartaric acid on different skin types. Hi, I'm Yolene Martens from Beauty by Code, and I am here to help you find the code behind your skin. So welcome to my channel. Okay, so tartaric acid is an alpha hydroxy acid found in many skincare products. If you are at all in the know about the latest skincare products that offer significant results, you will have at least heard of AHAs. But if you haven't, don't worry, here is a quick summary for you. Alpha hydroxy acid, AHAs, are a class of chemicals commonly used in skincare, well known for improving the skin's appearance. AHAs are derived from sugars and work by dissolving the bonds between dead skin cells. This exfoliating action can help improve the appearance of wrinkles, fine lines and other signs of aging and promote skin, um, skin, not skin, cell turnover, resulting in a brighter, more youthful looking skin. Because they are exfoliants, this allows, um, you know, like other products like moisturizers, for example, and serums to better um, absorb, to be better absorbed by your skin. And not only that, I mean, using AHAs can help you reduce the appearance of acne scars and other blemishes. Don't they sound magical? They can certainly be when used on the right skin type, but despite their similar benefits, they are all, I would say, like slightly different with their very own unique properties. So, talking tartaric acid. This natural substance can be found throughout our lives from, honestly, toothpaste to table sugar. As a naturally occurring crystalline organic acid, tartaric acid is derived from fruits and plants like grapes, apricots, uh, bananas, and tamarind. I love tamarind. A bit of history, the first free form of tartaric acid was first isolated from grapes by an alchemist before chemist uh, Carl Wilhelm Schiele was, uh, was credited for its discovery. Today, tartaric acid in skincare products typically come from grapes or as a byproduct of wine making, as it is used as a preservative to prevent the growth of bacteria, but it also occurs naturally after uh, the process of fermentation. Wait, did someone say wine? Yes! I did. Yes, tartaric acid is one of the chief acids that make up wine and is um, instrumental in its unique, you know, smell and taste, right? Like the same compound that gives wine that, um, its, I would say, tartness, if I, can, if I may say so. You know what I'm talking about? And just as wine has antioxidant properties from the grapes, so does this AHA making it stand out from most of its competitors. However, let me give you a quick disclaimer. For skin benefits, uh, tartaric acid is not, as, is not as well researched as glycolic or lactic acid. Still, we do know that this acid is very gentle on your skin. Now, let's look at the benefits in a little more detail, shall we? Okay, so first, tartaric acid is an astringent. So in a nutshell, it helps to tighten your pores and remove excess oil. This means it's an excellent choice for those of you with oily, acne prone, and it's very commonly found in many anti-acne products. However, like most AHAs, it can work pretty much for, I would say, every single skin type, from sensitive to dry and combination skin. Tartaric acid also possess a, uh, what is known as a keratolytic property, which helps, um, you know, promote cell turnover and it will help you fight signs of aging like wrinkles, fine lines, and of course it will keep your skin hydrated. 
The keratolytic properties of tartaric acid can go a long way in keeping, or in, not in keeping, oh my god, in helping you combat, you know, skin conditions like keratosis pilaris, as it helps dissolve flakes, right, like this, the flakes of your skin or tougher layers of your skin. And uh, dry skin in general can also benefit from uh, the added hydration this acid provides. When it comes to moisture, what's fascinating about tartaric acid is that it's believed to have its own moisturizing properties. As research has shown that tartaric acid is broken down into its derivatives known as tartramides, which mimics the structure of your skin's uh, ceramides. And they are responsible for keeping the skin hydrated. And so, I mean, they will decrease uh, the dryness of your skin and sensitivity by binding moisture to your skin. Therefore, tartaric acid is very helpful for treating dry skin. What else? Well, using tartaric acid regularly can help you reduce the appearance of dark spots and an even skin tone. Uh, it's often used in skin lightening products such as to treat um, melasma. And one of its primary benefits is that just like citric acid, tartaric acid is a natural pH balancer and a product stabilizer. This means that it prevents skin reactions and irritation by helping maintain the pH level of other skin products. Listen, if smoothing your skin's texture or brightening dull skin is what you want, then look for a chemical exfoliant serum or balm that contains tartaric acid. Now, as with all HHAs, you should aim to use tartaric acid during your nighttime skincare routine. And this is because these chemical exfoliants increase the risk of sun sensitivity. So avoid the sun after application and always wear high SPF during the day. You know this. As for side effects, well, I mean, there is always the risk of allergic, you know, an allergic reaction or maybe skin irritation with any product. Even though I would say tartaric acid is on the gentler side, you will want to be careful when you are introducing it into your life, especially if you've never used an acid. And if you want to use retinol alongside uh, tartaric acid to have the best of both worlds, go ahead if your skin, of course, can tolerate it. While it's true that acids and retinol don't always mix, sometimes resulting in, you know, like over exfoliation and irritation, it is possible to incorporate both into your skincare routine. You must know when you um, when to use them to reap the benefits and minimize the risk. The most important thing is that you use them at, I will say, different times. Acids can be incorporated into your morning routine and I will say maybe retinol at night. So use the two ingredients on um, another option is to use them on alternate uh, nights or sometimes you can use them one after the other. But let me tell you, just give an interval, I will say of uh, 30 minutes. If you are not sure what skin acid might be best for your own skin type, there is a quiz in the description box. So take the quiz and you are going to find out. Listen, all in all, tartaric acid can be a fantastic addition to your skincare regimen. So if you're looking for a product to help improve the appearance of your skin, well, look for one product that contains tartaric acid. Listen, that's all for today. Thank you for being here with me today. Leave a comment below. I want to know who you are and if you have questions. Bye for now.